OpenAI just dropped this uh, major announcement about their new AI models, O3 and O3 Mini. And these aren't just, you know, spinning out text like what we've seen before. This is different. They're designed. Some experts are even saying this is getting close to AI that can solve problems just like we do. Maybe even better. But before we get ahead of ourselves, let's break this down. What makes O3 so different? It's built on this idea of a private chain of thought. And uh, this is where it gets interesting. Like, uh, imagine you're planning a trip. You're not just booking the first flight you see, right? You think about your budget, how much time you have, what you want to do there. Well, O3 works kind of the same way. It doesn't jump to conclusions. It weighs different options, strategizes, almost like it's having a conversation in its own head. Before giving you an answer, this is a huge jump from the other AI models we've seen. We're not just talking about you know, writing better emails. O3 is solving these complex coding challenges, passing those hard science exams that most of us would struggle with, even tackling math problems that would stump a whole room full of mathematicians. And it's doing all of this by, well, thinking things through in a way that we haven't really seen before. To show you just how powerful this is, there's this test called RRC AGI. It's designed to see how well AI can learn new skills beyond its initial training. Kind of like how we humans learn and adapt on the fly. Well, O3 scored like 87.5% on this thing when it had enough processing power, enough time to think. And even in its lowest setting, it still did three times better than O1, its predecessor. But this kind of power doesn't come cheap. We're talking thousands of dollars per task for that top tier performance. It's like having a super intelligent but very expensive consultant you can call up. But think about it like this. Uh, remember when flat screen TVs first came out? They were so expensive, only a few people could afford them. And now they're everywhere. Same thing with smartphones, early GPS systems, basically every major tech thing. So it makes sense to think that as O3 technology gets better, those costs will come down and then yeah. its potential applications could just explode. Imagine having that kind of problem solving power every day, like having an expert coder at your fingertips, oh, mathematician, mm -hmm. scientist, all in one ready to handle anything you throw at it. The possibilities are kind of mind-blowing. We can see scientific breakthroughs happening so fast. Engineers solving impossible challenges. Even everyday people like us having AI tools that help us be more creative, better problem solvers. Mm -hmm. But this incredible power, it brings up another big question. What about the ethics of all of this? We're talking about AI that can reason and learn, almost like human intelligence. And that brings up concerns about control, safety, even the future of work as we know it. OpenAI knows about these concerns. They're working on something called deliberative alignment. It's kind of like a, teaching a child right from wrong. But on a much more complex level, the goal is to build in ethical guidelines and safety protocols right into the core of O3. So it doesn't just make decisions based on logic. It considers the human side of things too, like building a moral compass into the system. But even with those safeguards, there's still a lot of debate about the risks of such powerful AI. Some experts worry that O3 could be used for bad things, like making even more believable deepfakes, which could really damage trust in information, or developing autonomous weapon systems that operate without any human control, which is uh, a pretty scary thought. But on the other hand, some people argue that a droid could actually make the world a safer and better place. Imagine using this kind of AI to fight climate change develop new life-saving medical treatments, or even solve those tough social problems that have been around forever. The potential for good is huge. It's clear we're at a really important point. The line between human intelligence and artificial intelligence is getting blurry. And O3 is speeding that up. We're going to uncharted territory. And it's up to us as a society to figure out how to handle this. We need to talk openly and honestly about the potential benefits and risks of these increasingly intelligent machines and work together to make sure this technology is used to make things better for everyone. So where does that leave us? Is OpenAI saying O3 is really AGI, you know, the ultimate AI, a system that can do anything a human can intellectually? They're being careful. But those ARC AGI scores, well, it seems like they're getting pretty close. But some experts say that even though these tests are impressive, they don't necessarily mean O3 is truly intelligent in the real world. Like, can it really understand concepts and use knowledge the same way we do? It's a debate that'll probably keep going for a while, as this technology keeps developing, and it will keep developing. The pace of AI is just staggering. Just a few months ago, O1 seemed groundbreaking, and now we have O3, way more advanced. It's like the development cycle is on fast forward. And that's partly because, unlike those older language models that needed tons of data and time to train, O3 actually gets better as it works on stuff. The more we use it, the smarter it gets, the faster it learns. It's exciting, but also kind of unnerving, right? What's clear is that O3 changes everything. It makes us think about the amazing possibilities and the potential dangers of AI getting smarter. It's like an invitation to really think about the future we're building, a future where it's harder and harder to tell the difference between human and artificial intelligence. 
This isn't something just happening to us. It's something we're all creating together. So what do you think? Is O3 a sign of a future where humans and machines work together? Or is this something we're getting into without fully understanding? Keep thinking about it. Because the story of AI is just getting started.